Andrew Tate recently just got released from prison. Um, if we can look at this article here right here, uh, Jordan. Freed Andrew Tate says he has absolute clarity of thought after house arrest release from jail. And by the way, this is what he looked like after house arrest. Finally got to smoke a cigar. And for those of you that had Andrew Tate, bro, does he look bigger? Yeah, he looks thicker, man. He looks thicker, man. Thick. Dad bod. Is it? <laughs> <laughs> She's that dad bod. What's the dad bod part? The belly? Yeah. Okay. Well, he, he couldn't do cardio. I know. I know. <laughs> <laughs> but apparently this is the way he was walking in jail. Yeah. And he, did, he said he did something like seven, 7,000 push-ups yeah. uh, while, while he was in 60 days. Um, but uh, after his release, Tate claimed that there's 0% chance of him being found guilty of something he did not do. Because uh, he said that there had been, he'd been in 24-hour lockdown since last year and had absolute clarity of mind. And uh, they believe that he's in some part of human trafficking, rape, and crime gang offenses. And guess what? They still haven't charged him with anything. So they put him for two months under yeah. ho- under under arrest, twenty four hour lockdown, without any charges. I'm not gonna uh, I'm not gonna uh, force a, a narrative that's not there. But uh, not, in addition to him, uh, six women have been identified as his victims, but four have been charged. Him and his brothers have been charged. Tristan and two other women as part of his crew. And apparently, there's six women have been identified as prosecutors uh, by prosecutors as victims. What's your thoughts uh, overall, Lex? I'm just in- I'm curious. A lot of women today hate this guy. Andrew Tate for his misogyny, his, his uh, prejudice against women? Yeah. Um, I don't, actually. There's a lot of points that I that he's made and that has surfaced online that a lot of people focus on that I think are very true. Like I said, um, we kind of touched on it a little earlier with Trump uh, and figures such as that. Like, when you go against the grain of the status quo, like, you are already, like, disliked yeah. strongly. Um, there's been no proof of anything. A lot of people have recanted. I think the women what recanted their points as well. Um, I I believe in due process. And if they haven't found anything, I mean, even house arrest, I feel like he should have just never posted the video that showed where he was at and he would probably still be out doing his thing. Um, in terms of the misogynistic views, um, I think a lot of uh, I think a lot of women right now mm-hmm. don't like uh, people in general, but mm-hmm. in term, we're talking about misogyny right now. Um, We've veered away as a society from uh, traditionalism when it comes to a woman, and a, man. a woman, her role, marriage. Yeah. Um, we talked about feminism and mm-hmm. mascul- uh, being masculine. Um, I think with the more independence that women have established, which is great, I'm all about you know mm-hmm. women empowerment, and of I love you know I, I have only have female clients. I love mm-hmm. women. Um, I think we have veered away a little bit because of the social media. Um, the impact of social media and how we view things. We've never been exposed to these type of opinions of, you know, I could I could learn somebody's opinion across the world in a, in a matter of seconds, you know what I mean? And be exposed to different things. Um, and I think that's why a lot of people dislike him because he's he doesn't care, and as, as we should, we shouldn't care for what people think of our opinions, you yeah. know? He bases a lot of his uh, points on factual evidence, yeah. on, you know, success rates of marriage, success yeah. rates of uh, in, in the careers of men. That's why people mm-hmm. refer to him as top G. That gets annoying because a lot of people, I just feel like you could just call him agitate. But outside <laughs> of that, I mean, I, I, I think a lot of women just don't want to listen to the like a lot of his points because they've already been predisposed to he's a misogynist yeah. he's he's narcissistic and yeah, yeah. i watch a lot of his because i think a lot of women try to say you need to stay home and take care of the babies and, and cook me dinner and etc cetera, etc cetera. but at the same time here's, here's a flip side too a lot of uh men uh, by the way men also have their um fault added to as well because uh, you know, there, there's a, you have a, you know a men and women. They got to come together and eventually build a relationship so they could build a marriage and build a family. Um, a lot of th- people think, well, Tate's trying to say uh, uh, girls can be a bo- you know a boss bee, like the boss bee mentality, right? Mm-hmm. Boss bee, boss bee. Uh, listen, I got twin twin girls. I want them to be a boss bee. I want them to be uh, not to the extent where they don't need, you know, they, I want them to have their independence. I want them to have their money. I want them to be squared away. I want them to believe in their faith. I want them to believe in their understanding with their relationship with the man upstairs. But I want them to think of that, okay, uh, I'm a boss B, but I don't need a man. That's the problem. Take care of yourself as an independent one, but know that you're prepared for a relationship down the road to continue the Sapala last name, mm-hmm. to continue the procreation of good human beings in his, in his world. But I don't, you know, for me, I mean, do you like uh, women? Do you, a woman in your life? I never liked it uh, if I knew 
if Sheena was always going to the clubs, yeah. I don't know if she would be my wife today. One thousand percent. I, I, you, you know this, and for everyone that's watching, you, you all know this. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm very big on principles and values, man. Very, very big on pr principles and values when it comes down to, to uh, relationships. I think that's one of the main reasons why I've become extremely picky over time, and it's not so much of. Um, it's it's not so much of um just I, I guess uh, you can say being uh, uh, self centered or just you know you know blocking off anything that can come my way. It's just I, I know what I want, and I think the more you're, the more uh, clear you are on what you want and which direction you're headed, whether you're a man or a woman, uh, I think the more clear you have, you tend to you know filter out the weeds from you know from everything that you're trying to to attain when it comes down to a relationship. So you become a little bit more to yourself, and you really aren't uh, focused on just on the looks anymore and just the superficial things of what a relationship could bring. But one of the things that I did learn about this guy, man, that I learned um, that I learned about business just from observing this guy is polari uh, polarization is marketing. Andrew, Andrew Tate, he's a and polarizing figure. he knows figure. the game. He knows the game. He knows the he's game He's a polarizing so well. figure, man. Very strong polarizing figure. Um, it's the reason, why, uh, the reason why he continues to trend despite of being banned from all these social media platforms and even going to jail. You know, it's being able to identify a controversial topic, understand both sides of the argument, pick the side that aligns with your target audience, and share the views that will outrage the opposing side, but will land well with your target audience. And another figure is Elon Musk. Yeah. You know, polarization creates engagement. Engagement leads to more reach and, and exposure. More reach and exposure results in more engagement. It's a vicious cycle consistently. Yeah. And I think, uh, if anything, Andrew Tate is helping people recognize their roles all over again. Yeah. Because there's been such a skewing of roles. You know, one of the things, Lexi, that uh, I've, I've asked my kids to consider, you know, that saying, I'm just going to do me, I'm just going to do me, right? I'm going to do me. To me, that's a cop-out. It is. Right? It definitely is, yeah. I think as a society, we lack accountability, and when somebody tries to hold us accountable, it, we hate it. Yeah, exactly. I've Maybe. had a lot of fallouts due to that, and I completely understand it. And to touch up on your point, Milton, when it comes to being meticulous with what you want, I think... Mm -hmm. um, there's nothing wrong with that. As yeah. we grow and you learn to... Him or her. Okay. Thank no, you. no judgment, bro. Thank you, bro. appreciate that. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like as we grow, um, um, I think it's very important that, like you said, um, where we understand our roles. So if you like that clip, please watch this one right here. If you want to see the full podcast, click right here.